So let's go to the first phone call. Now, there have been actors and actresses. Michelle Pfeiffer didn't want to be in Silence of the Lambs. She said, I don't, that's, that's not likable. Yeah. Did you take a phone call from your agent and say, I'm not sure if I want to be OJ? Actually, it's the funniest story ever. My agents called me and they said, there's this guy. He's got a lot of money. He's going to self-finance this film, this Australian guy, about uh, OJ Simpson and his innocence. I was like, oh, okay, well, send me the script. He sends me the script. It's like, it's almost 200 pages long. And I was like, yeah, I'm just not feeling it. Who's directing this thing? They're like, they don't have a director. I go, pass. We passed on it. It was just the craziest thing. And a week later, my agents call me and they say, uh, so we get a call from Ryan Murphy. I said, whatever he wants, I'm in. They go, just hang on. Hang on. <laughs> He's telling the O.J. Simpson story. I said, you got to be kidding me. Are you serious? He said, yeah. And I said, well, I'm in because I'm such a huge yeah. fan of what he does as a you know, as a, as a storyteller. So, well, and, and so I'm watching this and my takeaway on this is first of all, the casting, the Johnny Cochran actor, yeah. the Chris Darwin, Cor- Courtney B. Vance. Yeah. Okay. Sterling. Yeah. When, when you, okay. When you're an actor, obviously you go to your trailer, you get ready, but when you, what was, what was it like for you in this having watched the trial, did yeah. you learn about the trial? Was, was it a different experience? Every day. Every script we got. Because remember, it's 10 scripts, right? 10 episodes. Uh, I, what I felt, no matter if you think he did it or he didn't do it, as I read these scripts, my opinion changed like a tennis match, back and forth. Because if you think about the trial, you know, one of the uh, elements of a trial is it admissible and inadmissible evidence. Right. Well, you don't have that with a miniseries. So... We got every aspect of everything in, in terms of his life, the, the, the prosecution, the defense, you know, um, the, the police investigations, all, all of the behind the scenes with the officials and everything. And it just, it, it really, we really asked questions that they couldn't ask in the courtroom. And it, it, it is one of those things where every fact that I knew for fact, you know, that I felt he w- might be guilty or he might not have done it was a little off there was every not one fact that i thought what I was knew. The, what was the first thing was there a fact that you went what well yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna tell you Why? you got to watch the show colin <laughs> <laughs> the hell you want to have me on here for can we ask do you think he's guilty or innocent can i ask that well what i do is i i answer it this way i say when i obviously heard about this project I, back in 1994, watched the, the Bronco on the freeway, and yeah. when, the, when he surrendered, I was like, oh, he must have did it because he was going to kill himself. He had a gun in his mouth, right. $8,000 cash, a fake beard. I was like, oh, yeah, right? And then when they found him not guilty, I was like, cool, the cops didn't get another black man. Right on. Right, right, right. right. But doing the research again and having going back and forth, the first thing I'll say is, is I don't want – people to watch the show going, all right, here's Cuba's performance. And he obviously felt this way about it. It's like if it was a politician and I was a Republican and you were a Democrat, no matter what I'd say would be tinged with that. So I won't say that, but I will say when you watch these 10 episodes at the end, when they say not guilty, you'll go, well, yeah, I understand it. I get it now. And not even if you agree or disagree, you still will understand how they came to that because of the incompetence, because of, the behavior of the LAPD at that time because of these flamboyant personalities of these lawyers and officials. I think, uh, I think it, it, it started reality television and sensationalism in television. Boys in the 